So today we're in Group A to chart the continued progress of the British Lionhearts who take on the Russian boxing team. And as we stand, the Lionhearts third in the Group of Eight, Russia in fourth. The Russians had a match in hand. This was a big, big night for them. They come in on the back of a 5-0 victory at home against the Guerreros. They've beaten the Chinese 4-1 to one here tonight. It was going to be equally as good and equally impressive. Opening bout. Egorov against Ash the Bash Williams. And there was no shortage of effort in this fight from Williams, Richie. Another 100% performance in, term of, in terms of his effort, but the quality again just wasn't there. And he was in, in up against a southpaw opponent who adjusted his feet and, and really caught the judges' eyes with those type of shots. Big right hook, brings his opponent here onto a lovely left hand. That was great stuff from Egorov. Williams, though, tough as old boot, he kept coming, he tried right towards, right to the end, but just walked onto that one there, and from another angle, just a peach of a punch on, on the chin. So the national champion, Vasily Egorov, opening with a victory, and next up it was our first look at Enrico La Cruz. He's the Dutch national champion, and he looked to be in over his head early on against Nikitin, a just... really powerful boxer. I thought he chose the wrong tactics early on, the Cruz. He, he, he held his feet, tried to take his opponent on at mid and short range, and that was the wrong tactic. When he boxed at mid to long range and moved his feet a little bit more, he did a lot better. And he impressed but, the judges a couple of times, and he got a couple of judges on his side. Indeed, but Nikitin, you know, he's very strong. He keeps coming forward. He's trying to push his opponent back to the ropes, and he managed to do that time and time again. Well, this was a view that the Lionhearts would get used to seeing. It was the Russian arm raised to Daniel Dunyetsev against Sam Maxwell. This is when we thought it was going to change. Uh, Maxwell put in a good performance in the opening round, but he didn't get the decision. It went with the with the Russian and it went all downhill. Yeah, a couple of good flashes from, from Maxwell that left up there. But then, he, for me, he just switched off in, in periods in this contest where he held his feet and he made his opponent look better than what he was. Then Yetsev is a very strong guy. Southpaw sits back and really wings those hooks in over the top. But, you know, he makes a lot of mistakes, but he is strong, he is powerful. And he dragged Maxwell in and made Maxwell fight his fight. And the Russian came through. Strong performance, but disappointing for Maxwell. Yeah, he was two from two coming into this. And that is the first taste of defeat in this season. Next up. It was a big night for Daniel Woolwich. He was making his debut as well, but the debut would not last too long because, the, as we said, the debutant would feel the full force of Kumakov, another national champion. Yeah, terrific left hook there. You won't see many better left hooks delivered than that around the, his opponent's right hand there. Early on in the round, so Woolwich was just caught um, cold in the headlights there and then gets caught with a couple of big right hands and... The British coach, Paul Wormsley, throws the towel in, protecting a young boxer with, with a lot of potential. But tonight wasn't his night, and Kumakov, a good, dominant display. Yeah, a chastening experience then for Daniel Woolwich. And another victory for Russia's boxing team. And then the finale and perhaps the most dominant overall performance coming from the world silver medalist Tyshenko here. Uh, Diana again making his debut, the, the Frenchman for the Lionhearts here tonight. Uh, he started well enough, but again, he didn't build and it was just a dominant display from the Russian heavyweight. Diana, I thought, fought well in spurts, but just got caught too many times. Tyshenko boxed well at range. He shows why he's such a, a, a classy amateur boxer. You know, this is over five rounds now, so it's a, it's a pro format. And he boxed very well indeed. He boxed well at range, he fought well on the inside. And yeah, he is quality. And as the contest went on, he just got stronger and stronger, increased the tempo, and Dion just walked onto too many at the end. And there it is, the arm raised. And it ended what had been an incredible night for the Russians. Five to zero. The final score, they go above the line hearts in the table.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Boxing Season 